You know, my mother would tell me that I have a lot of nerve if I, if I raise those issues. I'm so high right now, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep right now, man. Hey, let me put this into perspective for y'all, man. Law and Order have 65 seasons, 20 spinoffs, 1,355 episodes, and you won't find not one like this right here, simply because you cannot make this up. We are witnessing corruption in real time. We are witnessing why defense attorneys have a real problem with the prosecutors and judges, because you can tell they have close relationships. And if you've been paying attention to this judge, if you've been paying attention to his body language, you see the bias all over it being a native from atlanta i'm just so happy to see all of this coming to light because so many has been a victim to this law to this justice system down here y'all check out these videos this case has been crazy page two during the course of over two hours of initial interview defendant did not ask to speak to an attorney at some point during the interview detective joe galpin who was investigating a separate homicide incident entered the room Defendant then indicated he wanted to talk with his attorney and questioning stopped. That, so Judge Baberman, I can't tell whether or not he took into account what I heard on the video, which was, I need to talk to my lawyer. I don't want to talk no more. That is equivocal to this court, me, Judge Glanville, that he invoked his or withdrew his consent at that point in time and did not wish to speak to law enforcement officers anymore. I understand the state's argument about parsing it out, no. asking for clarification, but I think that once he's, you know, the appellate you know, case law that, I, that I've looked at, you know, and Paul Doe uh, and others, he has invoked his right at that point in time, and, and it's this court's opinion that uh, anything thereafter would be inadmissible. Your Honor, the um, court also found that he reinitiated, and that was what. Uh, but that's their that's their issue. That's not my issue. Your Honor, with respect to the statements that were made after that time, we do have, as I stated, Investigator Thorpe to tell the court on the record, present under oath, that it was not Detective Thorpe. It was the defendant that reinitiated the conversation with Detective Thorpe. Our representations to the court are not evidence and since the state has the burden of proof okay but i've heard i've seen i've seen the i've seen the video at this point in time. he claimed that the investigators violated his client's rights by asking him more questions after he had requested a lawyer now on march 14th the judge watched this police interview outside the presence of the jury and made a decision I apologize for interrupting the state earlier, but the state can talk the ears off a donkey. This continued filibustering has got to stop so that opposing counsel can speak. The, your rulings at some point have got to be final, Your Honor. Whether you hear from Detective Thorpe or not is irrelevant. He requested his lawyer, he invoked his right to not speak anymore, and I don't care what schmoozing Detective Thorpe did out at the Sally Port taking my client off camera. I don't know what went on down there. I don't know what self-serving, well, I have some idea. I don't know what self-serving statement Detective Thorpe could possibly give to this court that would cause the court to change their order. This continued going back whenever the state loses in this case has got to stop at some point, Your Honor. Thank you. As y'all can clearly hear, man, these detectives out here playing dirty, man. And I'm just happy to see it come to light because stuff like this is things we've been saying for years, man. These folks out here just straight up dirty. And so the fact that it's getting worldwide attention, man, is really, really a huge thing, especially for those that's like born and raised here, man. It's, it's really time for all of this to get cleaned up. How you going to clean up the streets when the justice system is just as dirty? You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, make sure you show me some love. I go look, I, I, I go live around 1030. Make sure y'all be there. Join the live party. I'm streaming this case until it's concluded and I'll see it in.